and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a fruity, kind of a summer fruity, fruity smelling <laughs> soap. My word, that was a mouthful. So the fragrance that I'm going to use today from Wholesale Supplies Plus is called Mango Papaya. Um, this smells wonderful. It really smells very fruity, like true to the fruit. So it made me think about how I wanted to approach this and I found this. It is a mango baby food. It's just a mango puree. The ingredients are mango, water, and lemon juice to keep it from browning. So um, this will go in the soap today. And for the colors, I've got my goji berry powder. I thought, well, if we're doing fruits and all that, let's just go for it. So one of the color swirls is going to have my goji berry powder along with some orange vibrance to make this swirl in it. And then also uh, for the other swirl, I'm going to use this crimson red wine mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I thought that was beautiful. So um, those are going to be the color swirls in this. The fragrance says that it does discolor to a tan, so I might add a little titanium dioxide in my lye solution to abate that and keep it on the lighter side. Um, I'm thinking about it, but it smells fantastic. It's worth the discoloration, I'll tell you what. So this will be a goat milk soap today and I will do the milk and oil method for it. So I'm going to get everything pulled together and uh, let's make some really a fruity, foody inspired soap. Fruity, foody. Yeah. <laughs> let's make soap. All right, I've got all my oils and butters melted and I'm ready to add my additives into uh, what I want in everything. So uh, let's start with the dry ingredients. I've got my colloidal oats which will add two tablespoons of colloidal oats, two tablespoons of kale and clay. This is pretty normal for my soaping. And also coconut milk powder because I have it and you know, the tropical fruit of mango and I just, it sounded wonderful. So coconut milk powder is gonna go in there along with our goat milk. So here is and I have water discounted from the lye solution for this volume of farm fresh goat milk. So wonderful. So this is going to be really foody and luscious. And here is my mango puree that I'm going to add in everything. It's kind of a funny color. It kind of looks like, well, <laughs> not very appetizing. It looks like a newborn baby diaper color. Yeah, it doesn't smell like that though. It smells great. <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't mean to put a negative association on that. Just forget that I said that. It's mangoes. Okay, let's just deal with the fruit. So, here we go. Got all the additives. I am going to get these blended in and let them absorb. And I'm just waiting for my lye solution to finish cooling off and we'll get moving forward. ready to move forward here and I'm going to hand stir this to emulsion. So here is my lye solution which has uh, cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in there. Oh, this mango papaya fragrance smells really nice down here. It's just really fruity but it's not over sweet. It has a little tartness. I love it. Hoping it behaves. So uh, it does have a little vanillin. And so uh, when I split off for my colors, I will add a little titanium dioxide to the uncolored portion to keep it on the lighter side. And, you know, I just, because I want those colors to pop, the really bright, the orange and the red, make it pretty. Ah, I can't tell if that's a little bit of ricin. Hard to say. It looks like we're doing okay. So again, here it's got the milk sugars and the puree in there, so it's caramelizing a little, that kind of beigey color. That's just the lye reacting with the natural sugars, no big deal. Love the chemical reactions. All right, I'm gonna split off in my buckets for my colors here.
it's the next day. I can't wait to get in here to my mango papaya. Oh, it really smells nice. It's fruity, but not over sweet. It's got a little tartness to it, which I love. It's got the mango puree in there, the goji berry powder. This is like tropical wonderland. I think it smells fantastic. Can't wait to see how that inside came out. I literally just got this in the mail today. Like I waited to cut these loaves because I knew this was coming. I was watching the tracking. So um, I will link uh, Alexander with Good Speed Cutters. I will link him down below in the description box. Uh, he has an Etsy shop, an Instagram page. Fabulous. He did this custom color for me with a little bit of sparkle. I am so crazy about this cutter and I have never used it before. So literally, I'm going to put this loaf in and this is going to be my very first cut with this cutter ever. So you guys are with me for the first time. I have never used a multi-bar cutter before. So this is it. So excited. So I had to come along and tighten up these. All right. <laughs> Kind of like playing a musical instrument. So, oh yeah, now I see why people, I've always wondered when people with multi-bar cutters have to push so hard. It is really tough, but I have a good firm soap recipe. Oh, wow. Okay, my goodness. <laughs> that was so easy. All right, these are all cut. Let's see. Ooh, pretty. Oh, that hanger swirl. I love it. Oh my word. And this uh, cutter, what a breeze. Oh my word, I'm just tickled. The color, the ease, this is fantastic. Oh, here we go. And you know I love this when this happens. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? This soap smells fantastic today, by the way. I'm so excited about my soap cutter. I'm forgetting that I actually made soap. It smells great. I'm really, really enjoying the fruitiness of it. So let's do our next loaf. I'll do that one for you too. All right. So see, I've got all these new things I need to learn. Multi-bar cutter, you gotta do all the little strings, dust it off, okay. Next log up here. And he was so easy to work with. He asked me, um, they have different options for how wide you want your bars. And oh, it was just a great experience. This bad boy came all the way from St. Petersburg. Oh, it cuts very smooth. All right. Look at, okay, I'll do it. Let's do it this way first. Pretty. And then let's do it this way. Oh, I'm a happy camper, y'all. This is awesome. 